Welcome back to Team Pandori. When we think of the legendary handhelds, some are so iconic and drop-dead gorgeous that we want to be reminded of them even when looking at the blank face of the lovely Miu Mini. With borrowed elements of a Game Boy and a Super Nintendo, we can't escape thinking how a decal might transform our Miu into something else. With Sakura Retro Modding operating from France, those in the US would have to wait a while for the stickers to arrive. Well now, they have competition straight from the US. Gaming Tips have decided to send us some Miu Mini decals in exchange for a non-biased review. Welcome to Team Pandori. Subscribe. Post. Let's give it a chop. These guys came all the way from the US somewhere. Let's see what's inside. Hmm. Okay. Why does the logo look a bit like a toilet? I mean, why does the book have... Oh, uh, whatever. Let's turn it around. Thanks for choosing us. If you put your finger in your ear and scratch, it sounds like Pac-Man. Hmm. Why? Why? Let's get to these doodars. So I have the set of decals. And two extra toilet stickers. Yeah. There's one for a Game Boy Advance SP. TurboGrafx-16. Neo Geo Pocket Color. A brownish Game Boy. A white Game Boy. Super Nintendo. This one, I think it's a regular NES. And finally, we have the sticker for the Nintendo Hotline, or maintenance. So we have a few decals here. Let's try them out. We currently have three Mew Minis here. White, transparent black, and a gray. Before using any of these stickers, I'm gonna use an alcohol wipe to clean it up a bit, and a tissue to dry it off. First one we'll try is the Brownie Game Boy. It's pretty much like a normal sticker. We'll just peel it off, and then get rid of any of the excess. Can be annoying to get all of this stuff off, but the worst part are the holes for the speakers. Lay it down like a pretty girl next to the warm fire on a rod that I bought from Asda. Ten pounds ninety nine pence. Yeah, that's not bad. She did say that. Next one we'll try is the one for the TurboGrafx-16. You might notice that the colour is quite different. Let's give it a go. Yeah, this one looks okay at best. If the colour was more of a black colour that goes flush with the Mew Mini, this would have been awesome. A good thing about these decals is they're very easy to peel off. Kind of like if you had the sticker books in the 90s, we could reuse the stickers. Now for the next one, the NES. This is a bit darker than the last one, but the quality of the print is slightly worse. The lines in the middle are not centered correctly, and the Nintendo logo at the top left is a bit fudged up, but it might be their way of dodging copyright. Next up is the one for the Game Boy Advance SP. We can see straight away that this one looks a bit better than the last two. As the edges are white, it matches the color of the print, but on the inside towards the buttons, yeah, that could be improved. Next up is the Game Boy White. Even though this is the most simplest decal so far, this one works the best.
Moving on is the one for the Super Nintendo. This one works fairly well, but I would have preferred if it was the same colour as the case. If we turn it slightly, we can see it's just a sticker. Next up, Neo Geo Pocket Colour. This one actually has more colour than the Super Nintendo one, and as none of the Miu Mini cases have this hue, it's very obvious that it's a sticker. So back in the day, some people had the Nintendo Hotline sticker right here. The one I owned as a kid did not have it, but, you know, if you really want one, you stick it on the back. We should get them to advertise my massage service. Lovely girls around the globe, all touching John Lou. From all of the decals tested, our favourite was the Game Boy White. Game Boy Brown, SP and the SNES were also pretty decent, but we found that the others could be improved by sorting the edges, using thinner paper, or making transparent stickers so the original cases can shine through. As Gaming Tips have only just started the company, we're looking forward to see how much competition they can give Sakura retro modding. Anyway, this has been Amy Chicken of Team Pandori, and I'll catch you on the next one. Ta-ra! Make sure you subscribe and book a session tonight with me, John Luke. I'll bring you a KitKat.